Hello everyone, Seth Gozo here. Welcome back to my studio. Kumusta? Today I'm going to show you how I made this paper clay sculpture. It's an abstract sculpture put together with a dried paper clay crack and shape like a, an abstract sculpture. I built the structure by creating a center point of gravity, making sure every piece is touching and supporting each other using liquid slip, paper clay slip. So as I build it, I have to make sure everything is intertwined, interconnected, and attached fully. So there's a lot of waiting, waiting for it to dry and going back and checking every connection. So how I started this piece, I, of course I sketched them. I created um, a triangular shape and as I cut every piece, I make sure one side is balancing the other side and as I compose the structure, I add and uh, stick them together using paper clay making sure they're uh, strong and intertwined and connected and the most important thing is to balance and build the balance compose it properly uh, look at it from afar and make sure it's all connected fully using your paper slip paper clay slip at this point you'll be seeing me connect and uh, Put them all together as a composition. Uh, you have to be patient. Uh, from time to time I will uh, go away from the piece, let it sit, come back, reinforce it. Uh, even overnight I'll come back and see what I'm missing or if anything cracks or collapse. One good thing about paper clay is the strength and at the same time it's light that you can make structure like this. It's not going to be uh, too heavy like the 100% clay. Uh, composition like this can be thinner and as you add uh, it's still going to be strong enough that will sustain its structure. So after uh, I finish the whole composition, uh, I am very careful on not disturbing the actual piece. So I only move the whole piece by uh, moving the board, the wooden board. And I created a one inch thick base that's 100% clay not paper clay uh, it's one inch thick and at the same time after uh, I waited till it's leather hard and I um, scoop or uh, I did not make it solid one inch I scoop it I uh, created a half inch in between uh, curvings uh, I don't know if you can if you know what I mean but um it's not solid one inch thick base and uh, I put the actual structure on top and uh, slip and score and making sure it's really attached so that took a while I waited a few days I, I go back and forth making sure I compress I add more slip and make sure it's really connected as a, as a uh, the base and the actual sculpture.
So at this point, the sculpture is almost done. So I painted it with white slip and I'm compressing, buffing, making sure it's compressed well. Uh, I don't spray, I never spray the piece directly. Uh, it can weaken the structure and it can collapse. I do cover it with two layers of plastic for slow drying. There you go, that's about it. Uh, if you stick around, you'll see my activity prior to going to the studio. I usually go to El Chorito. Shout out to El Chorito and my friends out there, Maria, Rosa, and I for, sorry, I forgot the other lady's name. But uh, I bought only mangonada today. I did not buy the elote. Uh, I did uh, pick up a leche flan. It's a large piece for a birthday party. Uh, it's a family birthday party. So stick around so you can watch uh, that I went to the studio, went to El Chorito, and went to a party. Thanks for watching.